Gemini, that's the soul here. And Gemini, this is a uh, new energy that I'm trying to introduce uh, in 2019, uh, specifically January 2019, because this is going to be your Moonology Oracle card uh, reading. This um, Moonology Oracle card deck was created by Yasmin Bolin, and the artwork was uh, created by Nix Rowan. So, like I said before, I wanted to introduce new energies uh, into 2019 to break up my own stagnation and monotony in doing these readings. You guys may find um, that these, you know, this Moonology um, reading could be more beneficial uh, if you find my uh, general weekly uh, readings and my general love monthly readings a little bit daunting and negative. Um, whatever you choose to do is fine with me, okay? So, like I said, uh, I wanted to introduce new energies, and so this is what um, I'm trying to do. This is similar to the animal spirit messages that I'm, I'm putting up, um, you know, the first of the month. So I'm going to also try to uh, see um, if this, you know, comes up, you know, comes across, and it's something that you would, you know, would like to see in the uh, future and stuff. Uh, I will continue to do so, okay, and put these videos out here for you. Uh, this is a little different in terms of uh, spreads because I'm using three cards, uh, reading straight out of the textbook here. I'm not, you know, um, using any of my intuitive impressions. This is for, you know, could be Gemini uh, Sun, Gemini Moon, Gemini Rising, as I stated before in another video that I wasn't incorporating that or making a statement about, uh, you know, you guys looking at the other signs if you know your you know your rising or your moon sign by all means do that it may be you know in those videos uh additional messages for you to hear okay these cards are not going to be read in the reverse and also to the author states in her book that it doesn't matter what moon phase we're currently in whatever card that is selected for you is the right card for you and since i'm reading for you uh gemini i concentrated on your energies and selected three cards so three cards that were selected this is your past position this is your present position this will be your future position starting with your past position uh gemini the card that was selected for you is the it's time to take action this is the new moon in aries and what this card says here in the textbook um it says the flame is lit a wonderful new start beckons and you're on the right track Drawing this card is a, a superbly, superbly positive sign if there is something you want to happen in your life. Take this card as a big yes from the universe. This is the time to really tune into your dreams. You may still have a long way to go. After all, Aries is the first sign of the zodiac, but you're on your way. Determination, self-assertion, and bravery are called for. But the hot fire of Aries is driving you towards success in whatever endeavor you're asking about. The caution of this card here, however, is that don't go too fast and forget your manners. Treat people well as you charge towards your goal. As you charge towards your goals, you'll create much better karma for yourself. All right. That's a message for you in your past position, your present position here, uh, Gemini. The card that was selected for you is have faith in your dreams. This is the wax waxing crescent moon and the message for um, you related to that. As soon as I find it. Okay. Yeah, here we go. Okay. You <laughs> just have to bear with me. Um, have faith in your dreams. The waxing crescent moon in your present position states in the book, don't give up. The situation you're asking about is still taking shape. You're nowhere near the end of the story. Whatever is happening now is just a step along the way. As they say in the self-help classics, everything will be okay in the end. If it's not okay, it's not the end. However, the waxing crescent moon card is a reminder that you must still keep working towards whatever it is that you want. If you can't take practical steps, spend time meditating on the question you're asking about and allow your higher self to download the information 
to you about your best next step. Overall, this card suggests there is every reason to be hopeful for a positive outcome to the situation you're asking about. So, keep the faith. That is the waxing crescent moon, and it says, have faith in your dreams in the present position for you, Gemini. Now, the very last card in your future position, the card that was selected, is the uh, conclusions are within reach. This is the full moon eclipse. Now, I just had it here. Oh, okay, here we go. Conclusions are within reach. Full moon eclipse as your final card, as your outcome card. It says here, full moon eclipse. And just like that, a door slams shut. If you pulled this card, it suggests that the situation you're asking about is about to reach a peak or has just done so. And things are now out of your hands. What you're experiencing now is what your soul signed up for. A way for you to learn and your soul to evolve. So allow events to unfold and be easy on yourself. If you're letting go of someone or something, know that it's the right time, as hard as it might be. Forgiving someone for what they did could be key to resolving this situation in a positive way. It doesn't make right what they did, but it releases it so you can move on. This is the conclusions are within reach. Full moon eclipse <coughs> as your final outcome. And this card has shown up here a couple times, as I mentioned in those other videos, that I do feel that there is an eclipse in January. So I don't know. You guys have to let me know. I don't follow astrology and or the planets in, in terms of their movements and stuff. But anyway, this is what I have for you. Uh, throw the comments in. Appreciate you guys. And, you know, once again, happy New Year's. And be safe. Emphasizing safety. Sending you out quite a bit of love and light your way, Gemini, until I talk to you again. Peace.